What is up guys, Private Broadcast Gaming here, and I'm here today to show you guys how to port forward for servers, whether it be your standard Minecraft, your tech it, anything you need. So there's a few steps to this, it's actually pretty simple once you get it down. So the first step that you need is to figure out what brand your current router is. Doesn't matter if you're on LAN, doesn't matter if you're on Wi-Fi. So if you don't know what brand it is, just simply find the router, look on the top of it, look on the bottom, it'll have a brand name. Something along the lines of Linksys or Netgear, something along those lines. So, what you do after that is you need to have a username and password to access the router. If you don't, or if you haven't already in, gone into the router to set a password, then it's probably not set. If you don't know the default password, Come to this website, routerpasswords.com. I have a link below if you guys need it. So I have a Linksys. So I'm just going to search Linksys. I'm going to find the default password. So here's, here's all the different models. If you don't know the model, it's probably the same for most of them. See here, ad, see right here, admin, 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 admin. There's no username, just admin, none, admin. So... If you want, if you know your model, I know for a fact, right here is my model. So my password is admin admin. If you do not know your current model, just try them all. It won't kick you out, won't knock you out, and go from there. So, how do you actually access the router? That's something a little bit easier to do than even this. So, you want to go into your CMD. If you don't know how to access that, click Windows button and R at the same time. Brings up a little run command, all I have to do, do is type in CMD. And there it brings up the CMD window. Now to find the IP address to connect to your current network, all you have to do is type in IP config. I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G, IP config. So the only IP you need to worry about on all of this is right here, the default gateway. Mine happens to be 192.168. Point one point one. So you go to your internet browser, you type in that password. So 192.168.1.1, load that up, and then if you're on Internet Explorer, it'll look like this. If you're on Google Chrome, it'll probably be closer up to the top, a little bit nicer for format. So from here, you type in your default username and password. If you've already changed the username or password, type in those current credentials. And then it should load you into your router. If it does not load you into the router, you might have done a step wrong. If it did, go back through the video and make sure you follow all the steps completely. So from here, let me just do it one more time. 192.168.1.1. I got that from the CMD right here. You go to that IP. It takes you to your router. So here's your router name. Not a big deal. Don't really need to mess with any of this. Local IP address. All of it really needs to stay the same. All you need to worry about for port forwarding is applications and gaming. So you click on that tab. And this is pretty much default for all things. So it brings you to this. Now all you need to do, the application name, not a big deal. You can name whatever you want. So let's say I'm making a Minecraft server. Just type in Minecraft server. Or as far as it will let you type in. So I'll just stick with Minecraft. And then you type in the two different ports. Now Minecraft's default is 255, 25565. And then you type in the exact same port at the end. 25565. Protocol stays both. And then the IP address is the same, or the IP address for the port forwarding is right here. It's the IPv4 address. And that's usually going to be very, very similar to your default gateway that you use to access the router. Mine is 192.168.1.101. So at the end of this, at the end of the IP address, you type in, since this is already defaulted for me, all I have to do is type in 01 or 101. 
and then click enable. And from there, there should be a button to save settings. Click it, and it'll set everything up. And then there you go. You go back in, and you are, as soon as it loads, you are now streaming from your current router, from your current system, computer, PC, laptop, whatever it needs to be, out a signal to the rest of the internet through your stagnant IP address. Now, to have your friends connect to it, all you have to do is find your IP address. It's this simple. What's my IP? In Google, I'm going to have to blur that out, but it'll be right here. And that's all you need to do. So from Private Broadcast Gaming, this is me signing off. If you have any further questions, don't be afraid to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.